Hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to detect a click on a game object in Unity. So in the end our project will look like this. Every time I click on the cube, the color changes. So let's get started. So first thing we have to do is we need a cube. So I'll make a right click in my hierarchy window and I go to 3D object and hit cube. I will set its position in the inspector to 0, 0, 0, its scale to 3, 3, 3, and I will rotate it by the y axis a little bit so it yeah, just looks a bit better. The next thing we're going to do, we will create two materials, one white material and one red material, and every time we click on the cube, we will assign the red material or the white red material to the cube. So I make a right click in the project window, click hover over create and click on material. I will call this cube red. And right here I can set its color to red. Then I again make a right click in the project window, hover over create, click material and call it color white. So now we have a white and a red material. The next thing we're going to do, we create a C-sharp script. So we make a right click in the project window, hover over create and select C-sharp script. We will call it color changer. This script needs um, two materials as variables. So we have public material red and white. And now every time we click on the cube, we want to change the material. So I also make a bool. I call it a red bool and we will set this to true if the bool, uh, if the cube is red. Um, now I create a method and it's called um, on mouse down. And this is a unity method. So unity will call this method if we click on the game object the script is attached to. So if we attach the script to the cube, this, me this method will be called if um, we click the cube. And now we want to set our material to red material. So we need the renderer, get comp this dot get component renderer dot material equals to red. And if it's red, then we want to set it to white. So if red bool, then we set it to white. And every time we click the cube, we have to change the red bool. So red bool equals false red bull. So if red was true, then red will the red bull will be false and if the red bull was false, then the red bull will be true. I save this script. Ah, we, we can do it a little bit more beautiful. Just make an else statement and copy this and paste it here. So now it's a bit better. Um, we go to Unity back and drag and drop our new script on our cube. Now we click on our cube so we can see its inspector values and now we also have to attach the red and the white materials to our script. So I drag and drop the red material to our red uh, attribute and the white material to our white attribute. If we hit play now and click on our cube, you can see it works. The color changes with every click on our cube. Nice! I hope you enjoyed the video. Smash the subscribe button and like it if you like the video. Um,
yeah, have a good time. See you. And don't forget to smash the sub subscribe button.